I'm June and you're in the Urban Survival Kitchen. Today we're preparing fried rice in a healthier way. I'm starting with, it's a several step process, so I'm starting with eggs, scrambled eggs, because this is egg fried rice. I'm going to add to the eggs about a teaspoon, two eggs, about a teaspoon of sesame oil. I'm heating a pan, a small pan. To the pan I'm going to add some more light oil. This is a sesame oil also. And I'm then going to cook the eggs as you would scrambled eggs. Just let them sit for about 30 seconds. I'm going to add a touch of sea salt instead of soy sauce. The soy sauce I'll be adding later to, actually tamari sauce I'll be adding to the rice dish. So we're going to first cook up the scrambled eggs. The eggs are finished and I'm going to put them aside while I cook the shrimp. I'm going to stir fry the shrimp for the shrimp fried rice. Right now, I have a pan that's been sitting on a flame for about a minute or two. It's nice and hot. When you stir fry, the rule is hot wok, cold oil. So we have a hot wok right now, and we have cold oil. I'm using grapeseed oil, a Chardonnay grapeseed oil, instead of just plain grapeseed oil. This is whole vine. This is a wonderful product, and it has a high smoke point also. So I'm going to add about two teaspoons of oil to the hot pan and immediately I'm going to add the shrimp. You can hear the sound of the shrimp cooking in the oil. You know the pan is hot. That's what you're looking for. I'm going to have an even layer of the shrimp and let it continue to cook at medium to high flame. To the shrimp I'm going to add a good sized clove of garlic minced, that's again green garlic, and a couple of tablespoons of scallion or green onion. Then we're on a fairly high flame, and we would want to cook the shrimp until it's pink. When it's pink on the bottom, I'll turn it over and cook it until it's pink on the other side. Okay, the, the shrimp is not quite pink enough yet in the bottom. We're going to wait. It takes about four minutes to cook the bottom, and then I will turn them over and finish it off by covering the pan with a lid, which will steam cook the shrimp and finish it off as we cook it. That's the term we we'll use in the industry. Okay, I'm turning the shrimp over. After I turn it over, I'm going to add a little oyster sauce, the vegetarian oyster sauce. Mushroom, it's really a mushroom sauce right here. Vegetarian oyster sauce. It's called mushroom vegetarian. I'm going to add about a teaspoon, two teaspoons, not much. I need even a touch of chicken broth. A little touch of chicken broth so that it will steam cook. It's been about one and a half minutes. I'm just going to toss the shrimp to evenly coat it in this nice glaze that's forming with the oyster sauce and the ginger, I mean the garlic. I'm putting the ginger in. I could add ginger. Let me let me do that. I think I will add just a touch of ginger to the shrimp just to give it a nice little hint of flavor. I'm not going to add ginger to the rice, only to the shrimp. And there we go. It's ready. Okay, now the final assembly of the shrimp and egg fried rice. I have a wok sitting on a medium to high flame. The rule is hot wok, cold oil. So I'm letting that wok heat up for about a minute. Then I'm going to add sesame oil, 
or it could be a mixture of sesame oil and grapeseed oil. About a little less than a tablespoon total. It's not quite hot enough, so I need to wait a few more minutes. I'm going to quickly add the rice that has been cooked. We have about three to four cups of rice. You can hear it sizzling, so the oil is hot enough. Essentially, you're re-frying the rice. To the, to the rice, I'm adding a little oyster sauce, about two teaspoons of oyster sauce, about a teaspoon of tamari sauce, which is gluten-free, another teaspoon of sesame oil, about a quarter cup to a half cup of chopped scallion, red onion, and about two cups of carrots and peas. The peas are frozen, the carrots were hand cut and steamed until tender. So now we're going to continue to stir fry the rice with the vegetables. And after it's evenly cooked, we will then add the egg. Let's place the egg in there. As we continue to stir fry. Notice the color. Fantastic color. Basically, you can taste at this point if you choose to. Beautiful flavor. I'm turning the heat off. Okay, now I'm plating the shrimp and the egg fried rice onto this beautiful aqua green blue platter, which really complements the color of the carrots and the peas. This meal is enough for probably four to six people. Relatively inexpensive to make. You don't need that much shrimp. Okay, I'm going to top the rice with the shrimp as a garnish. So it'll serve as a garnish and also you can see how beautiful the shrimp looks against the rice. There's your protein. It's nicely glazed shrimp with oyster sauce, garlic, a little touch of ginger. Also, I'm going to place some braised broccoli, baby broccoli that I have demonstrated in another video, the ghee video. Here's your green vegetable. Here you go. And to top it off, I'm going to garnish it with a little scallion brush right there. <laughs>